Hey guys, it's me back with another video. How y'all doing out there? What up with thee? Okay, y'all, I'm say grace. Y'all know how I do it. And we're going to jump right into this, okay? Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to protect me. If there's anything in this food to do my body, any hurt, or I'm a danger, I ask you to build a fence of protection like you do all the time. Lord, I pray for my ocean beauties, my followers, my kings and my queens, hoping that they wear their crowns well, and my people all over the world. I love you all, and I pray daily for us. Amen. Y'all talk to God all day, every day, sometimes, most of the time, majority of the time, I talk to him. He keeps me sane. Okay, y'all, today we have an Indian food. Okay, I want to show y'all, because I can't pronounce it. I was intending to do this before I started filming, but y'all know your girl and what she do. Luckily, I didn't have to go far. The refrigerator right behind me and everything. Ugh. Girl, let me tell y'all. Man, I've been having some conversations with some ladies that's out of control, and I love it. Okay, y'all, this is what I'm eating today. I can't pronounce that, but I'm trying something new. It's an Indian cuisine. I do know that. That's what this is, and what it is is a sauce with garlic, onions, uh, peppers, uh, tomatoes, all that. Then it has a it has an egg on the top. Y'all see the egg? It has an egg on top. This is what it's called. So I got that. I got the garlic naan bread and the grapefruit, the onions, and the boiled um, egg. I got some broccoli. This is what the lady told me consists of just one of their meals. I got some onions, tomatoes, and jalapenos, peels that I'm going to put over here with my onions. y'all and this is my first time trying the man bread i tried before so we're gonna give it a go start with the bread i'm gonna dip it first let me see if i like it it's okay Y'all like, share, and subscribe to this video. If you've been here before, thank you. You know I love you. I always tell y'all every day. If you're new here, thank you for subscribing, coming in, hooking up with us, and helping us to grow. I love you all. I love you all. Okay, y'all, this is the sauce that I'm dipping the naan bread in. It's, something is missing out of the sauce as far as the way we cook. And it might be the salt, but it's okay. Because there's a little salt on here, and I don't do salt. So, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try this egg. Mm. This is an egg. I think it's two eggs in there. Yep, it's another egg in there. So let's just try it and see what's cracking. Cause everything else is vegetable. That's I like that. Here it goes. Why well, tastes like spicy grapefruit? Um, the egg. I'm going to try the boiled egg too. I ain't going to see if you eat all this bread either. But I will. Yeah. Let's go for this. See what's cracking with the boiled egg. I 
like it better with the boiled egg. Yeah, I like it better with the boiled egg. Mmm. Mmm. The onion, that boiled egg, and that salsa. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I think because this sit in a box in a bowl mm -hmm. now if that had been fresh it probably would have been off the chain if the egg had been fresh but it, it kind of made me feel like I'm eating something artificial. And I don't want to do that. I'm going to mess my system up like that. Let's see what the broccoli tastes like. All this came together. tastes like rubber. That's why I don't buy them kits, y'all. Them kits ain't good to buy, especially when you're a person that like cook food. These kits ain't good. But I wanted to try some because one of my subscribers say, asked me, is that all you need is seafood? So I wanted to do something different. Now, I eat more than seafood. Check my other videos out. I eat more of the seafood. I done tried alligator. I done tried a few things. So y'all, let me um, tell y'all a power five of the story. So I think I left off at the part when my mom died. And we got her buried and everything. Then we started focusing our attention on the other brother to see what's going on and he um the last time we visited him he told us not to come back and we asked him why and he said because when we leave it's he get in trouble because he want to go with us so bad that he acts a fool so that went in one end out the other one. We go back up there to visit them. We refuse our visit. From that day since, he would not let us visit him. My daughter just did some research. Cause my brother was losing his mind, y'all. The stuff he was saying when we would talk to him. And... But wasn't nobody tending to his stuff like they should have been, which we didn't know because he, he cut us off, basically. But my daughter and them, they got so much technology now, my daughter and them wind up going up online or wherever they went and found out that he's no longer in Walpon. He's in a, a mental facility, mental health facility. And he's doing better. We talk, they talked to him. I didn't get a chance to talk to him yet, but they talked to him. My daughter said, Mommy, he talked totally different than what he was talking when we talked to him the last time. And he's still refusing our visits. He's still refusing the visits. The one thing I do feel good about, we didn't abandon him. He cut us off. So, he was still in there after my other brother had died. They was making little threats toward him and doing all manner of little dirty shit to get him provoked so they could throw him in a hole. Now he knew he ain't never been to prison. 
they doing all kind of stuff. He said that we went to the dentist. He told us this the last, the, no, it wasn't the last time we visited him. We went up there to see him. He told us that um, he was having a problem with his teeth. So I said, y'all ain't got no dentist or nothing up here where you can go? He said, yeah. He said, they drilled a hole in all my teeth and left them. And when he opened his mouth, my brother had holes all the way down on both sides of his mouth, top and bottom. Where they drill them, but they never filled them in. So we go and try to complain about it. The man told us that he was a ward of the state, and it's up to the state to do whatever they want to do with him, and we ain't got nothing to say. So we are here making noise, and they end up fucking my brother up on the low. That's the kind of dirty shit they was doing. Telling us they putting stuff in my older my older brother, all three of my brothers was up there. Not for the same thing though. But it was almost having my older brother come home. He told us how they was putting Thorazine. I don't know how many people know what that is, but that's some medicine that make you like a zombie. They was putting Thorazine in his food, so he stopped eating. He stopped eating. And you put him in a hole. Talking about if he died from starvation. Okay, well, if he died from starvation in a hole in his room, it don't make no damn difference. Either way it go, he ain't eating. They try to talk to you like you're stupid as hell. Hey man, go ahead on. Ain't nobody trying to hear that bullshit. Y'all keep throwing him in the hole because y'all don't want him to talk to us. Because we can't talk to him on the phone or nothing when they do that. They know what the hell they doing. They got the boys up there and they treat them bad. If you show any kind of attention out here, like you, you know, nowadays it's, it's much different than it was back then. You show any kind of, like, you finna get aggressive or any shit like that, the one in jail is the one gonna catch it. The movies on TV, that shit come from somewhere. The prison movies, that shit come from somewhere. That shit is real. And them boys up there, they, they got put a little... They say my baby brother, that's what I guess stemmed from my baby brother getting beat like that. Because a little, a 17 year old boy, I think they say it was sent up there. And my brother, he had joined this little committee thing where, because they was did so unjust, where when the boys come up there that young or whatever, you know they not going to make it. They had a program where they would help get them moved. And it was something they wanted from my brother, and I don't know what it was. Right to this day, we don't know what it was. But they went in his room and got him and did that to him for a reason. It was something they wanted. It's bullshit, y'all. If you got a loved one in jail and, and ain't nobody writing them no letters or, or sending them no pictures, and man... They be doing all kinds of shit to them. Ain't no telling what they did to my brother before they killed him. He'll never be able to tell them. The doctors ain't gonna tell us from examination of his body. They ain't gonna tell us shit. We'll probably never know the truth. Y'all got loved ones in jail, I don't care how bad you can't stand them up. Y'all send them a card, send them a letter. Let them know somebody out here thinking about them, cause they ain't got nobody up there, up there fighting for their damn life. 
they try to make it sound like they do. Some of them is doing good. We all said we're gonna eat all this bread. This bread good as a motherfucker. You hear me? It's good as a motherfucker. Yeah, y'all. Got a little one up yonder. Pick up a pencil. Pick up something. And let them know, cuz, brother, my nigga, my guy, my whatever, my dog. I'm thinking about you, dude. I ain't talking about you because you're in there. They need that. You know, people need to see that somebody's communicating with them on the outside. I promise you. You need to do that. You be like, am I your brother's keeper? I'm my brother's keeper. As far as I'm concerned, hell yeah. To the point of keeping him out of danger, keeping her out of danger. Yeah. You couldn't make nobody do nothing. But you can let a person know what's up. It's up to them what they do about it. Your job is done. Take the message. You let it separate or don't. If they don't wipe the feet, from, wipe the dust from your feet and move on. That's like what you do. That is what you do. That's what you do. Can't make nobody do nothing. So anyway, we trying to get him now to you know let him let us come see him. My daughter uh, got a picture of him. I'm waiting to see the picture, but she got a picture. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all, I'm going into surgery this month. I've been telling y'all about I needed uh, two hip replacements. That's all this ass. But uh, y'all know I'm just playing. I'm being silly, y'all. But, um, yeah, I got to have two hip replacements. They're not going to do them both at the same time. They're going to do the right side first, which is this month. And then uh, three months. It all depends on how I heal. They're going to do the left side. Y'all, I'm so glad because I'm tired of walking bent over. My back hurt. I can't lay on my um, right side. If I do the whole right side, go numb. The wind cutting up out there, y'all. So, yeah. So, yeah. Um, I'll be going in to get my surgery. They say that, um, he said he don't really know how long I'm going to be there. Because I'm on blood thinners also from another accident. So, um, all this ties in together. That's another story. I'm going to tell you all about that, too. But anyway, the thing is now, is I'm finna, they finna start the service. So, I got to really, really watch what I eat. They gave me a bottle of soap, y'all. And I guess the night before the surgery, I got to take a bath at home and wash real good. Once I wash real good, I got to take this bottle of soap that they gave me and I got to wash with that. And don't use no towel to wash it. You just wash with it, rinse yourself off, dry yourself, and put your clothes on. The next day you get up and go to the hospital. They said something soaking your skin. Once you do that though, you can't smoke, you can't drink, you can't do none of that. I mean liquor, you can't drink liquor and smoke. Uh, cigarettes, reefer, none of that. And yeah, I partake of the holy action for pain. I do a lot of teas and stuff. That's another whole other story. So right now, y'all, I'm just all over the place, y'all. I'm so sorry. I'm so excited about the surgery. I'm nervous about it, but I'm excited about it as well. I thank God that, you know, they finna take care of this problem. Is in God's hand. Whatever he say it's going to be, that's what it's going to be. Plain and simple as that. That's what it's going to be. But I love y'all from the depths of my heart to the bottom of my soul. I love you guys. Y'all have made me a very, very happy queen. Every time I look at my numbers, y'all, I just get happy. 
So I set everything up. I'm going to show y'all my bedroom too because I'm getting everything ready for when I come home from the hospital. My, my bedroom is part of my queendom. So I changed the complete color of the room. And, and wait till y'all see it, y'all. It's, it's, oh man. And y'all know the lion is my symbol, right? So my living room, I bought a thing to go on the wall. It's a great big old lion with a crown. I actually bought it for my room. That would be the king of my room. Y'all, why it's too big? Ain't no, I don't have no space to put it up on my wall. Because it's bigger than what I thought. So I'm going to have to put it on the living room wall. But I love it. It's a lion. And he got on a crown. And he looked like he looking right through me. I love it. Y'all love lions. I love them, love them, love them, love them, love them. Lions and rock wallers. I love them. For sure. Okay, y'all. My video. Y'all know me. I get to talking. Let me tell y'all. need for y'all to like, share, and subscribe this video. Y'all been doing good. I'm trying to get up to 500 so I can do another giveaway. I love y'all. I love y'all. Thank y'all for letting me come into y'all home and get on y'all nerves. One more time. I really appreciate it. It's always a pleasure. Oh my God, my people, it's always a pleasure. Remember y'all, if you ain't got something good to say to somebody, y'all quit getting in people business and talking what you don't know, just talking about what you heard and stay out of people business. And when somebody come talking to you about somebody else's business, Tell them the same, like, man or girl, that's their business. I don't want to know about their business. I got my own business to take care of. Stay out of folks' business. You could call somebody to lose their home, lose their marriage, to lose some of everything. You don't want to be that person. Because try to broke the camel's back. I know I don't. I try to show love to everybody. You ain't gave me no reason to hate. I don't even know what it is to hate. And I'm glad I don't know what it is to hate. And I would not hate nobody anyway because I would not give nobody that much power over me, first of all. So ain't no hate going on. If me and this person ain't vibing, I'm not finna sit up and talk bad about you. Deuces. I'm out of there. Best way is the right way. Keep your mouth shut. You ain't in no trouble. And go on about your business. Let them handle that. If they want to sit and talk about somebody, you do what you do. Let them do what they do. Your blessings is not theirs and their blessings is not yours. So and on that note, keep your opinion to your damn self because don't nobody need that. People going through a day going enough. They going through enough. They don't need that. Y'all, I forgot to tell y'all grapefruit came with that meal. I forgot to tell y'all that. Anyway, I love y'all, love y'all, love y'all. Queen on top. I'm out of here.